Hey little readers, parents, and caregivers. Welcome to Ruthie's Reviews and Recs. I'm Ruthie, and I'm here to break down all the best black authored and diverse kids' books from the Kingston Frontenac Public Library catalog. I'm glad you joined us for this month's edition. As promised, this is the Black History Month edition. So let's dive in and learn about black history. All right, let's go. Africville, a real place. It holds a piece of Canadian history, black history, Canadian black history, a seaside community in Nova Scotia, once thriving, self-sufficient, 150 years strong, all the while underserved and mistreated by the community at large in Halifax, black people, descendants of black loyalists, from slavery to freedom, set down roots, then relegated to a space without running water or sewers. The garbage dump lived in Africville. Insult followed, black community destroyed, residents dispersed unwillingly. 1960s, four decades, an apology. The people, always strong, reunited around Africville's church rebuilt. Africville, the book written by Shante Grant, illustrated by Eva Campbell and published by Groundwood Books. Experience the poetic phrases that actually transport you there. To the water, to the colorful homes, to the smells that you can just about taste. The grass, the blades tickle your fingertips. The culture, fishing, family, church. This was life in Africville. And oh, what a dream it was. Thank you, Shantae and Eva. I give Africville six jaw paws out of seven. And for this Black History Month special, I challenge parents and caregivers to take this learning past February. You can pick up this book at your local library. Again, it's Africville by Shantae Grant. Beyond that, you can support a black business, support a black author, and make that part of your practice all year round, because black history is every day. You can make a conscious effort to borrow books by black authors every single month and learn something new about a black Canadian, maybe an athlete, maybe the first person to do a certain task as a black person. The learning options are endless. So along with this review, I encourage you to get involved in the learning of black history. And as always, I love to hear from you, little readers and caregivers. Send me your pics of your favorite black or diverse authored book. You can send it to me in a comment on Instagram or Facebook at Ruthie's Reading Room or email your pic to Ruthie's Reading Room at gmail.com. I'd love to hear from you and you might even catch me reviewing your book on a future episode. Very exciting. And remember, the best place to read is wherever you are with a book. <music>